Hey Royals, hey Empress, hey Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, first things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't forget to DM. If you only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day and week and weekend. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy towards and anybody sending any negative energy towards me or towards in this reading. Maybe return back to Sunday a thousandfold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Angels, the ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. I can Michael, Holy Spirit. Please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North? You, know, you could be learning that it holds, like your intuition holds a lot of power. This is also in regards to like you being able to tame yourself, you gaining strength, courage, wisdom. Okay, like you could be realizing your intuition is like the powerhouse within you. Now is also a time for you to be mindful of who you are building partnerships and alliances with or God is going to be sending you in the right partnerships and alliances after you are able to identify the ones that don't work towards. You also have your rest and rejuvenate your energy. So you could be definitely needing to get outdoors more, get by nature, get by some type of trees. Okay, my condolences here. 33 could be significant. 43, 34 could be significant. You could be experiencing some type of heartache or loss, okay? This could also be in regards to some type of truth or clarity because there's a sword around her neck and that's clarity, okay? So you could be experiencing some, some type of heartache or loss at this time and it could be bringing you like not only just towards your mission but like to build a relationship deeper or closer with God, okay? For someone here, oh, shit. For someone here, someone here is about to get sit down, okay? If they were trying to come up against you to make you experience heartache or loss or they tried to sacrifice you in a situation, they ass is about to be sacrificed. I just have to say that. They're about to be sacrificed. If they sacrificed you, you're going to triumph and succeed, okay? I don't know if somebody thought that they, you were going to be the one to, like, be out for the count or 333 three, three is here too, okay? That angel number can most definitely be significant. You could be seeing that angel number towards, but... You have to let things go or you're moving towards a place of knowing what to release or knowing what to sacrifice and let go to put you on your path to success. There's most definitely either something that you could be working through, grieving, trying to release, heal from at this time. Or this could most definitely be in regards to like things that you may not have wanted to release and you learning how to get to a place of acceptance or you sacrificing things so that you could become triumphant. But I'm also picking up on there's someone that doesn't think they can sacrifice you. And they didn't realize how close you are to God. Like, I don't think people really understand. Like, God is real. Okay, God's chosen ones are real. Twin flames are real. Angels are real. Like, people just, like, ignorant, dumb, just don't want to believe. So just because somebody's like, it don't exist, that means it don't exist. Like, because you say it don't exist, that means it's not real. Like, somebody needs, they about to have a really harsh lesson. They about to be sat down towards Okay, continue to trust in God, continue to believe in the divine, jump into it and take this leap of faith. You also are being guided towards someone who likes you. This could be in a partnership or a relationship. You could be guided towards someone new. You're being led to release a situation or move away from something that's just not worth it. It's not worth your time, energy, none of that. Just move away from it. Yeah, you are also an inspiration. You have a lot of people that could be copying you or trying to be like you as well. This could also be because you are surrendering to your truth which is making more people like love you, fall in love with you, want to connect to you, want to want to be around you, okay? Yeah, you also have fear. Yeah, you are definitely getting ready to meet someone that you could trust. Iced coffee could be significant as well. Or you gaining like a lot of faith in like in yourself and God is making you an inspiration to people around you. You are most definitely a trendsetter. People are following you. You could be connecting to a Scorpio. I'm seeing here you smiling for the haters and you making people mad. You know people are watching you and you laughing at them and they're confused about what's going on. They're also confused about why they can't put you back in the energy of being in confusion. And it could be because you are choosing to be independent and doing something by yourself. While you were linking up with certain people or being around certain individuals, these are people that thrive off of confusion energy and it's like you're no longer in that. Okay. What is 
they like you. Who's this person that likes Taurus? This is someone that wants to come out of the cold with you. Or they could have been dealing with financial hardships. And now, like, their money is way better. Like, somebody was facing homelessness or job loss. Or they could have felt like, like they left you alone or left you out in the cold. And they want to come back out of the cold. This could be a King of Swords individual. Someone that's clear or very logical. Or that's using intellect or logic to try to connect back to you. This could even be a fire sign. It could be someone that's really logical, really studious, highly respected. But also really sexy, really attractive. Okay, what's this Five of Pentacles? It could be an earth sign like yourself. A fire sign. This could be a Leo or it could be an air sign. Whoever this is, they are focused. They could be really wealthy. Like. Right? very wealthy, very rich. They could come from a rich family or they could be creating this or creating a very rich, wealthy bloodline lineage for themselves. This is also someone that wants this with you. They want to be able to create generational wealth with you or a, like children, a business. They want like a very, they want to live this lavish, luxurious, abundant life with you. The Ten of Pentacles where y'all will never have to want a need for a dollar. Y'all are creating together and it's going to be a lot of happiness, peace, even a child that may be born. This is someone that sees this with you after laying a lot of things in their life to rest. Okay. Yeah, the Two of Cups. Like this is some, this is going to come out. Like I don't know if the secret has, it was a secret around this. Either you like somebody that's wealthy or someone that's wealthy likes you, Taurus, but the secret is out. This is a true two of cups dynamic that you can have with this person, okay, a true relationship. And this is not someone that's going to want to fight you, compete with you, or try to cause you any type of drama. This is someone that has real emotions, and they're, like, innocent, pure, like, a really light energy. This could be a Libra, a water sign, or someone that's, like, really innocent, really nice. Like a child, they have like a childlike type of energy or aura to them, but they could be rich, wealthy, like they got a bag. Like either they have a wealthy business, they come from wealth, they come from money, or this is something that they want to marry into money. Like you could be someone that's very wealthy and it's something about this. One of y'all are wealthy. Let's jump into it. Okay. Yeah. So things that you are manifesting, you know that people are watching you. So it don't matter if people are watching you towards continue to do it. You know, people are watching because they know that you have been enlightened. They know that you're not in like a place where you don't know how to sacrifice or let go. You have that full head of knowledge, a hedge of knowledge over your life. Pisces energy, and that's helping you heal. The three of swords. So spirit is like jump into healing, healing from heartbreak, three of swords, healing from betrayal, manifesting, okay, gaining enlightenment and choosing people that are actually aligned with you and your highest good. The lovers that are aligned with you, your mission, your purpose, your values, your beliefs, trusting what your intuition wants for you. That's what's going to lead you towards the path of blessings, wealth, harmony, richness, wealthiness, whatever you want, whatever you're manifesting, that's how you're going to be able to achieve it. It's with God. Okay. And who's, you can trust this person. Okay. You could, this could be someone that's coming towards you. That's going to want to court you. It could be a Gemini. It could be a water sign. This could also be someone that's going to want to have equal, like back and forth communication with you. With the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, this is someone that's one on one. It could be a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. They are really, really happy, really fun, really beautiful, very pretty. Whoever this is is really beautiful. They got like a really nice, striking face, male or female. They are really cute. They have nice attributes, nice features. This could be someone that's aligned with you, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. They're meant to come in during this time. This is something that is fated to happen, and it's a very blessed and lucky connection. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, they are meant to be like they're aligned with your destiny. Somebody likes you. Okay, or you like this person. Is this the same thing I just clarified? Is either you still want to talk about this? But I thought I just clarified this. <laughs> or you could trust this person. This is the same, this could be the same person for someone here that likes you. You could also be like getting ready to have a child with this person. Or you're meant to have a very blessed child or family with this person. Yeah, somebody's gonna want to play games with you, five of swords coming out sideways, or be mindful of playing mind games with this energy because this is like real love. Two of cups, be mindful. Okay, the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Or there's people that are trying to make sure that you don't have some type of new beginning because it will keep them in a place of like being bonded or stressed out or not able to take care of the things that they need to take care of. Okay, the Eight of Swords is really putting somebody at a place of being stressed because they're going to lose their their fuel up, their, their battery pack, which is you. Ace of Wands, these are energies that lack inspiration. They lack drive. They lack charisma. It's like they are losers. Three, it could be up to three people that was harnessing your energy, manifestation energy, your sacral chakra. They were using your energy and now they stress because they're going to be at like broke at nothing. Page of Pentacles having to do things for themselves instead of like just getting it easy. 
Okay, the Knight of Wands. These could have been people you were sleeping with, screwing on, or that were around for a good time, not a long time. Okay, and it's something about how you are moving forward. Cancer energy now. You're gaining more confidence, self-esteem, charisma, and it got these people scared about you, Taurus, because it's also leveling you up with your money, your finances, and with people that are around you. Okay. This is also you being more aware of who is around you, what lovers are around you, what connections are around you, who you could build this Ten of Pentacles with and who you can't build it with, okay? You could be seeing this here too. Okay, where are we at? Yeah, 10 minutes out here. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Sacrifices are needed, Taurus. It's a choice. Okay, most definitely sacrifices are needed, especially if you want your, this money to come in. You could be saying affirmations around money. You could also do something online or there's someone that's watching you online. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a devil energy to a Capricorn or an Aquarius. These are energies that want to weigh you down. They want to be the anchor in your life. Okay, and they, you could have allowed these people to do it. They could have been searching on regards to private information on how to keep you trapped or keep you stuck in a certain dynamic. Be very mindful of letting people like run your life in that way, emotionally manipulate you. You could also have been spending too much time in contemplation and it's time to take action because your vision is clear. You know exactly who's poisonous and who's not. It could be really triggering, but it's the truth. This is the only way you're going to be able to stand up for your limitations, your boundaries, and be able to keep it to be able to move forward successfully. Okay, literally, it's also making someone really emotional in regards to realizing that you know the truth because it's like you're heading towards someone where the, the, the attraction is real and genuine and it's like unexplainable. This could be a tower reader. You could be a tower reader or someone here is getting a reading done and they know that you're getting ready to be really, really happy and it may not be with them. Okay, you're about to be really, really happy. This is someone that's obsessing over you now. Okay, they have obsession over you now because they're not realizing. They thought that you were always going to be around or you were always going to be in a low vibrational energy, which means you were always going to be attracted to them. So now you're raising your vibration and your frequency. The attraction is different now. The, the, the energy is different now. Somebody here is not realizing this or they're having a hard time coming to grips with it. So they're going to try to manipulate you, sacrifice you or keep you in an energy where they're able to manipulate you and use you and get things from you. The nightlife energy, I don't know if you do something in the nightlife or this is someone that likes to strip tease, gamble. They like fast life, fast living. And they're daydreaming at this time. This is also an energy that is going through bad consequences, bad choices, or they want you to make bad choices because they're sending you mixed signals and they're salty about you seeing the truth or smelling the roses or gaining clarity or getting out into nature. They keep coming in with these fake ass apologies saying that they miss you or that they're longing for you or let's talk and reunite the minute that they sense or they could smell that you are healing. These are devil energies. The minute that you start healing, they feel really puzzled. They start getting scared. They start figuring out what they need to do. They start talking to their different people, their lovers to figure out what to do. The whole situation is fucking toxic and it's to stop you from being established with a true relationship, with a true intimate partner, with a true soulmate. Okay. It's to stop you, Taurus. And it's like a cycle that you could be in with certain individuals. Either you are this masculine energy or you are the, in this divine feminine energy. But there is someone that is now taking more leadership authority, more discipline in this dynamic. This could even be you putting distance with this masculine or you putting distance with this feminine and them feeling stagnated. 333 on the timer, as I said, this, there is a, a divorce, some type of ghosting or separation that could be taking place as well. Okay. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Okay, yeah, you have your runner, chaser energy. Somebody was trying to run after you or they were running away from you as you were trying to give them love. They want to pop up on you. The letter V could be significant as well. This could be someone that's getting ready to experience a fall or you're about to be with someone that is going to, it's like love is going to conquer all in the connection. Somebody is experiencing a fall from grace for someone. This could be you. Okay, or this could be someone that you were ex like dealing with. The letter J could be significant as well. This person is broke. Okay, you're also meant to be with someone where there's going to be true love and marriage. Okay, somebody here got caught. This could have been someone that wanted to put you or keep you in a third party situation using sex. Okay, instead, you're about to be on the path towards building a his and hers empire with someone together. Someone can have a shortcut in deep waves as well. You can or this person that you are connected to. 
Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Okay, yeah, somebody here was stuck in childhood trauma. The letter D could be significant. Somebody was stuck in childhood trauma. It could be another earth sign like yourself, but this could be you, Taurus. Okay, you also have for the spiritual realm loves you and protects you. Okay, don't be too quick to react. This could be to your child's mother or child's father. They could be the problem in a dynamic. This person's going to jail. This is what's on the way for them. The letter Q could be significant. Something could be happening on Monday. Okay, somebody here also was using pictures of you on their phone. This was a group effort to do something against you or to try to get something done. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Yeah, somebody's asking why or they're no longer asking why. This could be today, okay, or Friday. Somebody was trying to do something and it has been returned to send the times 10 or it will be, okay, especially if they did something over to you over the weekend to you, thinking that they were going to get away with it. They are not, okay, this could have been a Virgo, okay, that's in your energy as well, that's doing this. This could be a Virgo that's stealing money from you. You're going to find out there's a Virgo that's stealing money. Be mindful of fake family members or somebody was listening to fake family members about you, which is why they treated you a certain type of way. Two, two, two could be significant. New beginnings, power to manifest with the universe. It's all about you going with the flow of love. I'm seeing this here too. Somebody was doing money schemes in this dynamic. Okay. You also have here, yeah, this was a copycat energy. Somebody here could have went towards somebody that they felt like was better than you or that they could make to be out, like to be like you or better. Or this could have been someone that was dealing with someone that was trying to keep you away from someone or was trying to keep somebody that wanted to be with you away from you. Okay. It was a copycat energy, a karmic. Something happened a week ago. Okay. Three, two, three could be significant. You are on the right path. Two, two, two could be significant. You're also getting ready to see how you've been on different pages with someone. Or someone is just not your cup of tea. They're not the person that you should be connecting to. Okay. Anything else? Angels, Taurus needs to know. Okay, you have here. Yeah, it's time for you to express your love. Okay, I'm also seeing here. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Be very mindful. Don't be forced to marry somebody that's obsessive or that you don't really want to be with, okay? She looking at him, but he looking straight. This is something wrong. Something's wrong with a marriage or a connection or don't be forced or, you know, to get into a marriage or a contract that you truly don't want to be in. Spirits that go towards someone where the love is actually real, it's not conditional, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. Is it real? Is it genuine, Okay. Are you being forced against your will? Are you are you really happy? Is this really what your soul wants you to be going towards? Or is it just for the look of things? Okay, like that. <laughs> Anything else for Taurus, Archangel Michael, please and thank you. Okay, you also have to make a commitment. Okay, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. You have here Archangel Michael as the angel of courage and confidence. I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself to myself my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Amen. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And what is the advice, Holy Spirit? Advice? Okay, you have here, I am a magnet when I stand in my power. All of my emotions are part of my human experience. And there's nothing at the top and there's nothing at the bottom. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Taurus. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.